hard it is to learn a new language? If you've ever done that, you know that you can understand and speak hundreds of new words, and yet having a full-blown conversation with somebody from that country might not be real possible. You just don't have enough words. When it comes to our toddlers, I think we forget sometimes that they are still very much learning the language that we speak here. And so when we give them directions, we tend to use too many words. For instance, if you have a child who is throwing sand in the sandbox and you say, Johnny, don't throw sand at Susie's eyes, you're going to hurt her, don't do that, put that sand down. Well, you just talked really fast, you threw out a ton of words. And we don't know if Johnny really processed that very well or not. He probably caught some of it, but maybe not all of it. So when you're talking to toddlers, do this. Rather than spouting off a whole ton of words fast, get down on their level, look them in the eye so that they know that you mean business. Don't get in their face, but you know, look at them. And say, Johnny, no throw. Now that he can process. Even if he knows very few words, he probably knows no and he probably knows throw. So you've just communicated what you wanted to say without a lot of superfluous information that they don't need. I've heard parents do this. Um, they'll say no hit or no bite and it really communicates to the child. Remember the nonverbal communication as well. You don't want to coat it with a sugary sweet no hit. You want to be firm. I'm Ann Wiggins. Thanks for watching.